Tonight, a family remembering the life of a 10 year old hit and killed by a truck on Christmas Eve. Yeah, the Knox County Sheriff's Office telling us a 10 year old was struck by that truck just before 6 Tuesday night in front of Lions Creek Baptist Church on Strawberry Plains Pike. Sawyer Black was walking home from church service when he was hit, an ambulance taking him to UT Medical Center with serious injuries where he later died. But tonight, we are not focusing on the tragedy, but a look at the impact his short life is leaving behind. His father telling us in the midst of grieving that he's finding forgiveness for the driver. WATE 6 on your side, digital reporter Cameron Jacobs in the studio tonight. Cameron, you spent some time with that family today. Bo and Madison, yes, I did, and I learned that Sawyer Black was a pretty talented kid. And even in his life that was cut way too short, it's not just his family that's missing him, but the community feeling a void left by Sawyer today. Caught up with, I caught up with Todd Black, Sawyer's dad, who showed me how Sawyer brought joy to so many people. He played guitar, he played drums, he played piano. He was 10 years old. Um, he was just a special, special person. Sawyer Black was tragically struck by a vehicle on Christmas Eve on his way home from church. His father, Todd, tells us what his boys were up to before they left for the service. Judd was playing a song on guitar and Sawyer uh, jumped on, I've got some electronic drums up there, and Sawyer jumped on the drums and was playing along with them, and I was, completely impressed for a 10 year old boy to, to be able to do that. He was he was gifted. Once church let out, Sawyer and his older brother were making the short walk to their grandmother's home when tragedy struck. We're devastated. It's changed our lives forever. Um, we, we will never ever be the same. Todd still at his home getting ready to meet his boys when he got a phone call from his middle son telling him he needed to get there fast. They were coming out here. They were excited to come and open Christmas gifts. And, um, and he got hit, and everybody, at, there were so many people at the church that worked on him at CPR, and, and I'm so thankful for them for trying. Sawyer's mother lives in West Knoxville and is spending time with her other two boys, coping with the loss of her son. Jill is a very strong person. She's staying strong for her boys. She is completely devastated, um, and uh, rightfully so. She's, uh, she's lost her baby. Todd tells me that even under these circumstances, he feels no anger towards the driver of the pickup. I feel for him. Um, they didn't do anything wrong. I, I'll actually pray for them because they're, um, they're having to deal with this. Since the accident, Todd has received an overwhelming amount of support and love from his friends and family, something that he says is not going unnoticed. The prayers, we were so thankful for the prayers and the support of our church family and uh, um, the people on Facebook, people have just worn my phone out with the messages and we really appreciate it. We need that right now. Sawyer's memory now lives on through pictures of the good times he spent with his family, something that dad says he's really trying to focus on. It was awful. Uh, I wish I could get that out of my head and, and, and I can think about the good things though. He had so many good things about him and we've had so many good times. Um, so that's what I have to do. I just have to think of all those good things and know that he was a gift for 10 years. Friends and family of Sawyer who are looking to say goodbye can do so Saturday from 12 to 2 p.m. at Bridges Funeral Home. Sawyer's funeral will follow right after. He will be laid to rest at the Trentville Cemetery, and we will include those times in our story on our website, WATE.com.